Okay, so here we go. Like I said before, we have the ginger down the middle as a medium strata because it's influenced very heavily by the two tree rows. So the light getting in here suits medium strata. But up over and above it, the papaya can get the light that it needs as an emergent. And so the, immediate, the medium and emergent work together, as do low and high. Here we are, we've got a weed here. I don't even know what it is, but it's really beneficial at this point because through succession, it's sending a lot of strong growth signals down into the low strata here where we have the most incredibly healthy, happy bromeliads. And I'll go into those and how they work in this in another video, which I'll dedicate to life cycle. So I'm just going to keep walking us through. So we have a beautiful ginger crop. We'll prune these pigeon pea very shortly because the, when they're putting on this much growth, because they're a high strata plant, working over medium strata, they're starting to overposition the ginger. Sounds like a better help pearl finder calf shortly. But what we have here is a very, very healthy forest that's very, very precisely organized some very healthy plants I did want to film this in overcast conditions where I didn't have so much contrast to the light and you could see things a bit easier but the ladder there because I'm still pruning some of these eucalypts I mean we've got some serious biomass here coming from these eucalypts they're really really such an important plant Never underestimate the power of a eucalypt, even though it's a relative odd bod as far as polycultures are concerned. So here we have an illustration of what it looks like. Again, the most beautiful stacking of healthy bromeliads and lovely ginger And the papaya working as an emergent, they're quite happy. You know, they started off over position, mind you. That, that was a mistake from last year. So, you know, they, they, they should have been a lot better, but they're, they're definitely expressing now happily. Again, a one year old papaya is just starting to fruit because it was over positioned earlier on. I grew it with the cassava. And the cassava is a high strider. And the, Papaya is emergent and I started the papaya from seed underneath cassava and really I should have started a bunya pine or something under the cassava because that would have been a far more appropriate. So this is uh, again an illustration of a beautiful crop alley that's really carrying commercial quantities of um, crop here and without any fertiliser, mind you, that's, 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 that's definitely the case. I'm not happy here with the pigeon pea. Remi be reminded that when I started, when this was planted, there was a lot of light in here. The pigeon pea just didn't really cut it as a high strata to work over the, the, um, the pineapple. It just didn't get going fast enough and then just got put on the back foot once everything started to really pump when the growth signals all triggered and everything went nuts. So I should have planted castor oil. Anyway, I'll come back again with another video about life cycle.